lighting fixtures such as this that were influential in my design. Making a public art project is similar to making a film in as much as you're producing it. There is some discussion about the desirability or the need for public art in the urban environment and for me it seems like an essential need. How boring would it be if we entered cities without art in them or architecture? In fact, no one would want to go anywhere if there wasn't for the fact that there was something interesting to look at and it sort of makes life interesting to live and it creates sort of an optimistic atmosphere upon which to live your everyday existence. It's just like the kinetics of a body. You know, as, as one form moves one way, it's, there's another form pulling the other way. I wanted to talk a little bit about the spirit catcher part of the title, which comes from uh, my interest in African culture, uh, particularly the, the Dogon people of uh, Mali. And, and they have this sort of ritualistic form that is placed on their rooftops. And it, it's almost like the weather vane in uh, Western culture. And, but this thing is like, um, the spirit catcher. It, it, it pulls the, uh, the spirits out of the air. Very powerful. Moving. As a boy, I used to tag alongside my dad while he worked at the stockyards. I remember seeing crazed Brahma bulls rip eight by eight gateposts out of the bricks as if they were matchsticks, and seeing 200 head of longhorns running wild-eyed across an elevated chute, and learning that until they were loaded onto a train in West Texas, they had never seen a man.